Greetings and salutations. My name is Eric Badreig, and I'm the project manager of Haphazard Projects uh, and the designer for the Aetherblood Chronicles. So today I wanted to take a few minutes out to uh, describe to you the DPS system. And it's very simple. Uh, it basically works as uh, you roll two dice, you add in some bonuses together, and that gives you your active result, or just a result. It's referred to as the active result. So, the way it's broken up, there are three main attributes. One, two, three. Um, the attributes are physique, psyche, and soul. Now, just a second, we've got a helicopter flying overhead. Let me shut my window. Hopefully that helicopter will go away. Anyway, physique, psyche, and soul. The two attributes of physique and psyche have a number of traits. Sorry about that. They have a number of traits within them. Physique covers strength, agility, reflex, and health. Psyche covers willpower, reason, um, awareness, and perception. Now, awareness is your, your social attribute trait. Um, it's how keen you are to the social activities going on around you. So, each of those attributes has those four traits, as I described. Soul can be used with any trait. Soul dictates how you interact with your powers if you are playing an aether or if you are playing a psychic or whatever else so next you have skills and the skills are dictated by dice as well just like the attributes the skills are athletics you have combat you have criminal Mystic, you have uh, scholastics, uh, then you have social, technical, and wilderness. Anything you may want to do in the game is dictated by these skills, including perception tasks, savings throws, or the equivalent thereof, etc. So what, what you do then is you look at these skills. Now these are broad categories obviously what you can do is specialize your knowledge within a given skill and that specialization gives you another bonus anything from a zero to a six zero meaning you don't have a specialization one meaning you had the bare bones of the knowledge uh, it takes to perform that said specialization six being your relative master um, there is a way to get up to eight, and that is by claiming something as a talent. And uh, talents can go up to eight, which is phenomenal levels, like Beethoven, um, I hate to say it, but Elon Musk, um, people of that category. Um, so what you do is you roll the die for the attribute you're using. You add in the attribute trait relevant to the situation you roll the die for the skill that's being tasked and you add in your specialization bonus if any all of that rolled together added up is your active result which dictates how well you did on a given action um, it really is that simple let me illustrate so Let's say you're trying to lift something heavy. Obviously, strength comes to mind. So you would roll your physique, you would add in your strength, you would roll athletics, obviously, because no, no, no other skill really dictates anything when it comes to lifting or carrying or anything else, so it would be athletics. 
And then if you had any type of specialization for lifting, power lifting, um, anything like that, you would add that in. So you would roll your dice for physique and athletics. You would add in your strength and your specialization. All that together gives you your active result. Um, that is basically what I was trying to uh, complete in this video. I will be doing more videos, uh, probably even more today. I've been very lax on my videos and my posts on Patreon. I apologize for that. Um, it's just the work on the book has taken a huge priority and Patreon suffered. And I apologize again. Anyway, um, that's it for right now. Like I said, I'll probably be posting other videos today. Um, so everybody have a great day. Stay safe, uh, stay happy, stay healthy, and uh, may all your dice rolls be criticals. Thank you very much. Take care.